Street Pub Mafia! <laughs> Go on for water for never a camper. Yeah, right? This yeah. is the first. Like pickup trucks and vans and cars and never that. I've never seen something like this in person either. And you never will again. No, probably not. Well, welcome back, guys, to the greatest show on earth, and that is the Miami Boat Ramps channel. I am your host, Broncos Guru, in collaboration with our boy Wavy Boats, and we are back down here at Boynton Beach. And oh my, some people have found themselves in some trouble. Um, this is some archived footage. This did not happen this past weekend down here at Boynton Beach. Um, this footage actually came from our good friend Dean over at Paddleway Sports, which is literally right next to the boat ramp here at Boynton. They're actually the area's number one paddle sport recreation location. And uh, if you're ever in the area in Boynton, go ahead and give Dean a visit. Make sure it's at low tide. Get yourself a paddleboard or a kayak and go ahead and paddle on out there to the dock blocker and witness the show firsthand. But this was the scene he was able to catch over here at Boynton Beach when these guys packed this RV straight down the ramp. Um, there's a few more minutes of footage of this. I'll leave it at the end of the video, but we're going to go ahead and start our regular video on this note. But if you want to watch that, hang out. And these guys are approaching slow. It's a little bit calm down here today for Boynton. Um, but the last couple weekends we've been down here, it's been windy. The current's been ripping. And as you can tell by the water, everything's just a little calmer right this second. Um, and you should be able to judge that based on this scene right here. I mean, our guys kind of meticulously, slowly moving around the dock. And it's taken a whole lot more power to get these kind of moves pulled off over the last few weekends. But our guy is still having a little bit of troubles. This is the second attempt at approaching the trailer, and they are still kind of off. But he is definitely taking that rule, never approach anything faster than you want to hit it seriously in this one. And now he's floated off to the other side. Wifey's going to come up here and give him the push off. And he's going to be back into the dock, actually. On this kind of situation, that might have even been the best bet. Instead of trying to drive this thing on, they probably should have just tried walking it on from the dock. That may have been a little bit easier. Because now he's coming on a little crooked still as well. But Wifey's being very meticulous here, making sure to get him lined up, and I think he might have it now. Oh, he's pulling off to the side a little bit, but you know what? I think we're good. The trailer's a little crooked as well, so that makes it look a little more off than it really is, but I think they're going to be all right. Man, and it's it's been a busy day down here, that's for sure. It looks like we got a our crew. Oh, our crew over here, they got a little out of control. They're real close to hitting this boat. But we've got somebody in the bow who's able to give us the push off, and we're going to back ourselves back out of this one. But that was close. They've been hovering around for a few minutes trying to find a dock, and it's just kind of busy down here. So they're kind of patiently waiting, but maybe not as patiently as I thought they were waiting. As he was trying to move in on one, and they just came in a little too hot. And our coming in hot crew finally has a dock ready for them. Um, they're going to go ahead and pull some fenders and some lines out and get ready to go. But you can tell the situation's changed in the last hour or so down here. Earlier, it was fairly calm. There was not really much current, and there was not a lot of wind. And you can tell from their makeshift bimini top and the water below them that the current's pulling now, and the wind is pulling as well. And it's kind of given this captain a little bit of fits. This boat has a lot of surface area, so it's going to take the wind and the current a little more than some boats, because it's not very, very aerodynamic either. It's just a, you know, a flat boat. Caps, yeah, he's really struggling on this one. This is this is the second attempt at this dock, and it looks like, yeah, he's going to back out on this. We're going to go for it again? No, he's deciding he's going to approach somewhere else. we're going to have a standoff here at Boynton as both these guys were trying, one's trying to leave and one's trying to enter at the exact same time. Um, but the current the wind's pushing, they got to go. This, yeah, this is not going to end up good. Oh, man. These guys are going to wind up on the rocks. There's rocks underneath them right now. They're on them. They hit rock. Oh, no, the boats are almost going to hit. Oh, we got a little jumpy on the camera and we missed it. The boats did miss each other. They did not collide, but our guy is on a rock. Um, it's tough to tell because he's not on the big pile of rocks there, but the tide's a little low, and there's another rock right there. 
Oh, man, that's going to stink. And these guys are going to have to back this one off. They really need to get this weight off of the rock, though. So <laughs> the rock's on that side. Everybody actually needs to move to the other side of the vessel. If you ever get yourself in a situation like that, this is one of the first things you want to try and do, guys. If you, if you get beached or you hit a rock, try and get the weight off of that point. And our guys are going to back out, and they're going to have to reapproach this whole thing. But now the wind and current's already pulling them kind of out of the way. So this is actually going to make it a little difficult for them to even try and reapproach back into the ramp. Because if he starts, like he's coming back in a little too early right here. It's going to try and push him into the rock. He's going to have to back back out again. Whew. And that's not really Cap's fault right there. It kind of, they just got into a little bit of a standstill. And unfortunately, the current just grabbed these guys. But both captains kind of stood stunned for a moment. And I think most, if you've ever captain a boat, you've probably been in a situation where you've done that before. I know I have, and I'll openly admit it, where you kind of just got into a situation and you weren't sure exactly what the right move was. And by the time you kind of figured out that right move, it was just a little too late and you might have found yourself in a little worse spot. But now he's got it backed out about right, so they'll get to get another reapproach here. <laughs> the captain's definitely making sure they've got plenty of room for the reapproach on this one. But I'm sure he's a little frustrated and a little flustered. I mean, it happens. So this crew's gonna start bringing it back in, and let's see how we do about getting this the rest of the way in today. Yeah, of course you guys made it. That was a pretty easy call. And our crew's calling it awfully close to the rocks as well. Oh, and they hit one. Oh, man. Those rocks are submerged over there, and they just hit their outdrive on it. And as promised, guys, we still have a few minutes left of the uh, footage from the RV going into the water. So I'm going to leave you guys with this footage. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Miami Boat Ramps, and I'm just going to let you enjoy these clips here at the end. Wow.